Hi, welcome back to Britnet's OKC. Um, I am a knitter living in the Oklahoma City metro area. Uh, today I have a little bit different video for you. I just finished recording a podcast, so that's why I'm wearing the same thing. Um, but DFW Fiber Fest is next weekend, and I have plans to buy some yarn for some cardigans. I realized that I do not have enough knit cardigans. I think I have one that I've knit so far, and my goal um, in life as a knitter is to uh, make enough shirts and garments to wear knitting every single day. So, um, so I, I, yeah, that's what I want to do at DFW this year. I have picked out a few patterns, and. Um, I'm going to talk about them a little bit and why I like them and why I'm considering knitting, knitting them. And if you all have any favorite cardigans that you've knit, definitely let me know what they are because maybe I'll change my mind and maybe you will have like a more beautiful or like perfect everyday cardigan that uh, I will want to knit instead. Or probably in addition. <laughs> Let me pull up on my iPad, that way you can see the photos of the actual cardigans that I've saved. So today I went into Ravelry and I actually looked at my, aw, there's a Christmas picture. We took our um, holiday pictures early this year because um, we're going to be on vacation. I just want to show you this real fast. <laughs> we smushed each other's noses. <laughs> Thought it was funny. My friend Ashley of Ashley Thornton Photography took those. Anyway, <laughs> um, so I went in there this morning and I added a few cardigans. I went through my favorites first and then I added another one that my friend Amy is knitting currently and I just have to knit it too because it's beautiful. So. We're loading. <laughs> okay. So the first one that I had my eye on, <clears throat> that I had saved in my stash, or not in my stash, in my, <laughs> in my queue. I currently have like over 60 projects saved in my queue. Um, a lot of them I do have yarn for, um, and I, do, I don't really like to buy yarn unless I have a project picked out. Or like I will, st I'm the weirdo who will stand there in front of a certain kind of yarn that I think is really nice, and I'll just like look for a pattern to make sure that I have room, an excuse to buy it, basically. <laughs> so, the first one is Floriste by Sari Nordland, and it's a it says it's fingering light. It's a fingering light cardigan, so that would be great for summer and autumn and spring here in Oklahoma <laughs> and it's this beautiful it has a lace design on it that's what I really loved about it I love sorry Nordland's patterns this one has bobbles and a little bit of lace and maybe some cabling uh, I love everything about this it's very light um, I love the lace, obviously. I like that she's taken the lace, like, down the sleeves a little bit. Let me see if I can pull up a good picture. Yeah, here's what it looks like open. Yeah, it's just stunning. I love it so much. Yeah, I'm definitely going to knit this one. And I'm thinking, actually, I really like the gray. And, you know, gray goes with everything, so... I think I'm actually going to get like a very similar yarn to this. She used Kettle Yarn Co. Baskerville 2.0. Never heard of this yarn before. It says that it's British Blue Faced Leicester and Gotland. Fingering 100 grams, 350 meters, 383 yards. That's beautiful like, yarn. Maybe, maybe I could get a Suburban Stitcher. She's going to be at DFW. Maybe I can get like a really beautiful 
gray from her or I could get um, a more like natural kind of fiber so it's not like a sock yarn so maybe not I do have there's another cardigan in here that I really want to get some suburban stitcher yarn because I just love her yarn so much so yeah so I'm gonna get some gray I'm gonna do a gray one basically the same but a different yarn definitely going to do that one eventually <laughs> all of these are like oh I'm definitely going to knit this right now in two years <laughs> The next one is the Magnolia Bloom cardigan, and this one, this one used Isayer yarn, silk mohair, and Camilla Vaad lamb's wool, and it's in this beautiful. It says lace plus sport equals bulky, so it's bulky weight. I think that would equal DK or worsted. I don't know why it says bulky on here. That's confusing. Anyway, we'll figure it out. We'll look at the other yarns that other people have used and see what the actual weight is. But she used this beautiful, like, golden yarn. It has a little bit of lace, a little bit of bobbles. Yeah. So I'm actually thinking about doing a either a goldish color like this because I think it's really perfect for this cardigan or a like camel color I think would look really pretty too yeah so I'm definitely doing that one too <laughs> or that's what I planned anyway we'll see <laughs> another one is the Sunday cardigan by Petite Knit I'm actually like a little bit on the fence about this one. I love the construction of it. I love like the fittedness of it. It's very like, I don't know, the, the big ribbing at the top kind of gives it structure and that's what I like about it. But also at the same time, like I'm not sure I'm not sure about that one. I don't know. And like, I'll have to look at all other people's patterns because it looks like it's pretty fitted. Like it doesn't look too oversized. So I'm on the fence about this one, but I was also thinking that if I did knit this one, I might do it in a black yarn um, because it would match a lot of stuff. This says that it uses, this is lace plus lace plus worsted equals bulky. And it, it has like a few different suggested yarns on here. So the Isayer yarn, silk mohair, the Filcolana Tilia, knitting for olive silk, silk mohair, Kertagarn, Inkle wool. So let's see what other people have used that's where you kind of get like the real the real deal this one's pretty yes view this view this project um they do not have much information that's why I always uh, not always I really try to put like too much information on my project pages because I know that I'm a person who likes to sit here and click through other people's projects. So this this person used Wildwood Yarn Superwash DK, hand dyed by Madeline Tosh, but it doesn't have a mohair listed. So I'm I'm honestly not sure about the yarn on. It. Okay, someone used Plochu Lopi. That would actually be really good. I love a Lopi yarn. It is kind of difficult to bind off but it it happens <laughs> eventually after many curses uh someone used hair to garn lima alifa slopey garn studio Dawson paul pickles big fuzz so i'm i'm getting the feeling that like a very rustic yarn 
plus a mohair or possibly plus a mohair um, might be a good choice for this one. Let's see. Someone used Hansa Farm Baby Alpaca. And then two different lace yarns. So Hansa Farm Baby Alpaca DK, Hansa Farm Baby Alpaca Lace. So it, it looks like one DK yarn and two lace yarns. So two mohairs. So that, that's definitely a possibility. I'll have to, I'll have to see. Like, have you, have you all knit these cardigans? What is your opinion of them? That's what I'm looking for here. <laughs> uh, the next one that I really want to knit is a bit more simple than the other ones. It's very plain, but I'm very, I guess I'm swayed by the pictures that they put in here. Um, because I, I want one that's like almost the same color <laughs> again. Um, this is the Felix Cardigan by Amy Christoffers. It says that it's published in Savory Knitting, but you can get it as a Ravelry, down, Ravelry download. Um, so this says it's worsted weight. And the suggested yarn is Green Mountain Spinnery, Mountain Mohair, Iztex Leflopi, Green Mountain Spinnery Weekend Wool, Baraco Mercado. So this might just be like a worsted or you could do a DK and a mohair who well I was about to say who doesn't love a mohair but I know a lot of people don't this is just like really plain and then it has this beautiful like lace detail um, on the raglan I'm in love with that color so good yeah so I mean I'm, I'm definitely gonna I'm definitely going to knit that one too 100%. I wonder what other people have done. Oh, someone made a, a summer Felix. Okay, there are different versions of the Felix, and this is the cardigan. This one says that it's cardigan number seven, so I think this person made seven of them. It's pretty cool. Uh, this person used La Maison Tricote. Lang Yarns Amira. Linen Quill Worsted. Uh, Pearl Soho Linen Quill. So I guess there are a lot of options here. You could kind of, but like the pattern really, I think, lends itself to mohair. So I think what I would do is I would get a DK yarn and then and then uh, hold it with a mohair, with a mohair lace. I think that's what's gonna happen. And that's the one that I think I might buy some yarn from Suburban Stitcher because her like purpley and pink colors are amazing. Okay, the last one is The Seasons Cardigan by Ozetta. And my friend Amy is knitting this for her husband. And I actually have yarn to knit the pullover but the yarn that I have is pink. Oh, it's right here. Yarn, this yarn is like pinkish purpley. And I just don't think, I just don't think that I would use a cardigan that much knit in this. So this is going to be a pullover. Uh, seasons pullover. I think I'm actually going to knit this this winter because I got this yarn last year at DFW and I have not used it yet. But um, the one that Amy is knitting is also like this oatmeal color and I just think it's so cool. And it's like a little bit oversized. I think I'm gonna make mine like a little more oversized. And I think that an oatmeal color would be good. Either black or oatmeal. So yeah, that is, that's a worsted weight project. So yeah, and most of it is knit in half fisherman rib, which I've never done, but it'll be fine. 
<laughs> it'll be fine I'll do that anyway um, if you have any favorite cardigans that you have knit or that are in your queue and you want to knit um, definitely let me know what those are um, I am interested in changing my mind <laughs> basically change my mind please change my mind um, and I want to know about all the like great cardigans and they can be like lightweight or heavy um, it doesn't matter it's either icy here or it's hot so <laughs> We need all the clothes in between, so yeah. Anyway, um, thank you for watching. If you have suggestions, please put them below or tag me, uh, comment on Instagram. Um, yeah, I'm Britain, it's OKC on both. Anyway, thanks for your suggestions if you have any, and happy knitting. Bye.